<laughs> so I've set my marking gauge about 132nd to 164th thicker than the actual material. That's about half a millimeter or so. And I've ran that gauge all the way around the entire, all four sides of this piece of wood. So here, on this side, on this side, and a little bit on here. This is an old piece of floorboard. So this side, the smooth side, the floorboard is going to be the inside of the box. And this side is going to be the top side of the box. So I'm going to take my gauge and align it to the outside top corner here. All right, and then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife. I'm going to mark that line. Okay. So one thing you'll notice is that this, these two corners should line up, but there should be a tiny gap on this side here because we, when we measure the thickness here, it was slightly thicker. So this is going to allow for compensation later. We're going to try to get this thing to fit perfectly tight. So this is going to be the inside corner that we're going to have to cut out to make the miter. Next, I'm going to use either this corner or this corner as a reference. And mark a line 45 degrees here. This just gives me the thickness of my next cut. Okay, now I'm going to use this line to make, to square this up. So this now is going to be about 5 eighths of an inch. Next I'm going to lay out the dovetail, so approximately there. And I'll go from there and I'll make the tail uh, 1 and 3 quarters, I think. These measurements are, doesn't need to be that precise, but preciseness will come later. So I'm going to find this line. I'll make a very precise cut down. I'm gonna lay it ball out where the, approximately where the tails should be. Okay, so we're gonna cut out this part, and this is only part of the pin, and this part is gonna be the other half of the pin. So now that I have these two pieces cleaned out, I'm ready to transfer the tail piece onto the pin piece. And you notice over here, I made a similar uh, diagonal marking on the tail piece as I did on the pin piece. Okay, so now I'm going to transfer this. I'm going to use the top two ends here as a reference face because on the other end I have um, this tongue which makes it difficult to align. So once I have it aligned, I'm just going to mark these out with my knife. Bamboo is difficult to mark, so I'm going to go over these lines with my chisel real quick. So I've transferred all the markings that was from the top here onto the side here, and both sides. And this piece here is going to be the tail piece that's going to get cut out. You'll notice that there's only two lines on this side and there are three lines on this side. That's because this is where the miter is going to be. And this is going to get cut. This little piece is going to get cut out as a piece of triangle. And it's not going to get cut on this side at all. So after cleaning out the tail piece recess, I'm ready to cut this miter cut. Now I'm going to make sure I cut on this side of this line. And instead of a cut that goes like this straight across, I'm going to cut this at a 45 degree angle going from this top corner to this bottom corner here. So I've just completed this 45 degree angle cut. Now I'm going to cut this little corner off. I'm going to make sure I cut on this side of this marking line here. The goal of this cut is to remove 
the bulk of this little corner, but not to the precise 45 degree angle. So now I'm going to cut the miter of the opposite matching face, making sure that I cut on the waist side of this line, gauge line here. So now that I have these miters roughly cut out, I'm going to fit the tail in between these two pins by shaving away the inside of these pin pieces. And Alright, so now that I've got the two parts to fit pretty nicely, the only thing I need to modify now is the miter here. So I'm going to clean out these edges and see if I can get these two to meet perfectly. To get this perfect 45 degree cut, I have placed a piece of a, a non-stick grippy thing, which is from the kitchen, on top of that. And then I'm going to do a lot of rough carving using this line that I had scribed as a, as a guideline. Then I'm going to use this block, which is cut to a 45 degree angle, on top like this, and use this as the guide to cut the final, more precise 45 degree angle here. So I'm just roughly cutting this out, using this line here as a guide that I put on the side. Normally I would do this with just a chisel that's much wider than this, but bamboo it's actually a very difficult material to cut. So I'm sort of resorting to using smaller chisels and taking just a little bit off at a time. For the final cut, so I'm going to make sure that it's nice and flush. All right. So I'm going to cut the other one just like this and see if they'll match up together. All right, so I'm going to try to fit this together and see what it looks like. So it feels like it's met up. Let's see, look at take a look at this joint here. Alright, so there's still a bit of a gap here, but the miter has closed. So that tells me this miter is a little bit too big. So I'm going to go ahead and shave both sides a little bit at a time and see if I can get this gap to close up. Alright, let's try this again. So there we have it. This fit is pretty good. This there is a microscopic gap here, and it's very hard to see. I don't think once it's been glued together, I don't think you would have seen that gap at all. It's barely there. So if I wanted to tweak some more, I think I would go ahead and shave just a little bit more off of this back face. But other than that, this is pretty much how I go about cutting a uh, mitered dovetail. So everything looks pretty nice and neat together. And there's the miter up here. And uh, hopefully you can, you can see that. You can see that line where the miter meets. So. I think this is a pretty neat little joint and I hope you enjoyed this demonstration.